Hey guys, how's it going? Today I want to do just kind of a quick review for you guys on the Tyneco A11 Master Cordless Stick Vac. Um, I hadn't seen too many reviews on this, so I thought I'd kind of give you guys my two cents based on my experience and let you know what I thought about it. Uh, should mention real quick that I actually found a pretty good deal on this vac, and I'll put a link in the description below so you guys can check that deal out if you're interested in picking one up for yourself. One thing to note about that too is make sure a lot of times they run a coupon there'll be a little checkbox underneath the price if you click the link you'll see the price underneath it there'll be a checkbox that says like save an extra da 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 whatever make sure you check that box or they won't give you the discount um, but it can be pretty considerable and anyway just thought i'd mention that so the a11 um did quite a bit of research on these stick vacs. As you know, Dyson uh, is kind of the main competition to these, I guess you could say, kind of, although, spoiler alert, this thing blows those out of the water for the price. Um, but anyway, um, Dyson has moved to 100% battery powered vacuums. They don't even make uh, plug in vacs anymore, or they don't plan to make any plug in vacs. Battery technology has just gotten so good, uh, and this Tyneco A11, same deal. Um, the battery on this thing, the power on this unit is unbelievable. It has a 450 watt motor um, and I found this thing actually cleans better than my old Dyson Animal which was a plug-in vacuum. So if you're worried about power, don't even be concerned about that. This thing is exceptionally powerful. So how does it compare to its main competition, the Dyson? Like I said earlier, this thing blows it out of the water. Now, I'm not affiliated with Tyneco, not affiliated with Dyson. This is just my own opinion, uh, having used both. Now, the other thing is the Dyson costs almost double the price of this one. And, I, and I'm comparing it to their highest-end model, because that's what this one directly competes with. There is no reason anybody out there should buy the Dyson. Um, not with a vacuum that's this good, this powerful at this price. Uh, the runtime on it is 60 minutes on its normal mode. It does have a max mode, which is unnecessary, truthfully, but that's just like the ultimate power. If you have a really, really dirty spot, you can kind of just spot clean it for that, but it'll run for about a half hour on max mode. But the normal cleaning mode, which is what you should really always run it on, is an hour long, um, which you can uh, vacuum pretty quickly in this thing because it's so lightweight. If you've never used a cordless uh, battery powered vac like this, it's really nice. They're really lightweight, they can get in, maneuver into any different spots, and they're just uh, really nice to use. It does have a charging station that it docks into, um, very simple, very easy to use comes with a lot of different attachments, including an upholstery cleaner, which is nice. But yeah, overall, I'm extremely happy with this vac, uh, and I highly recommend it. Anyway, if you guys have any questions about it or anything, uh, yeah, just leave them in the comments below. I'm happy to answer them for you. Um, thanks for watching, guys, and have a great day.